businesses need to be fleet of foot and be able to adapt to whatever scenario we end up with related to Brexit. I also think it's vitally important that you support the people within your, your business, be they um, citizens from the EU or workers who are concerned about the impact on uh, the business related to, to Brexit. A lot of this is related to communication within the, within the team and the organisation. And I think that they will take a lot of comfort when they understand that the company is taking it seriously, looking out for the interests of the people involved in the, in the business. I also think that you need to understand and know your supply chain, talk to your suppliers, understand where they are in relation to, to Brexit and how you can adapt the business model to be able to cope. Uh, this might, there might be an impact in terms of shipping in goods from overseas and delays in, in ports for example. Or it might be that you're going to need to build up stocks to allow for any disruption in supplies. But what's vital is to talk to suppliers and customers to understand their need, their position. It might be a supplier of your, your business is also supplying others and they are increasing their demands in terms of uh, supply of goods and services. What I also would suggest that you do is think about stock levels. Uh, have you got enough stock in place to be able to cover any disruption or lengthening of delivery, delivery times? Another area to look at related to stock is looking at the investment in working capital that's required to build up stocks. But also be mindful in terms of the uh, shelf life of any stocks and goods that you're not bringing in additional um, stocks that might run out of their, their sale by date.